Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Not me. Social distancing. Six feet, friends. Ladies and gentlemen, today I know I've talked a lot about cats, but I do hold a special place in my heart for you dog lovers as well. I myself have owned dogs, but I just don't have them right now. So today we're going to look at how to draw a dog. Not the only way to draw a dog, but my way. So here we go, friends. Again, I put the line in the middle of my board so it's closer to what your size paper looks like. I'm going to make sure that I start on the left hand side. I'm going to start about in the middle of the page and just like how I talked about drawing the cat today, when you draw the face, you want to make sure to make it not too big, not too small, just right. Goldilocks size. We're not going to do too many details on the dog's face, but it's just helpful if it's that medium size. Okay, I'm going to start out with the dog's ear. I know it seems like an odd place to start, but that's what we're doing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little horizontal line to the side. Then I'm going to start on the left hand side and I'm going to go cup to the end. There's the dog's ear. Okay. I'm gonna start in the top corner where the cup and the horizontal line connect, and I'm gonna go out, around, and back. You do out, around, and back, okay? Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by that curve that we just made horizontally, and I'm gonna go down and over, and then I'm gonna color it in. I'm gonna make sure that I'm staying in the lines and I go back and look for white spots. That's his nose. Look at him. It looks like his ear is right over his face and he's like, I'm a home dog. Love it. I'm gonna go over by where his ear is and I'm just gonna make one eye. And the reason that we're making one eye is because our dog's looking sideways. And watch, when I'm looking sideways, you can only see one eye, I hope. That might be awkward if you could see both of them for me. Okay, back to business. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start back behind where the ear is, and I'm going to make a horizontal line over for the top of the body. Now I wanna remind you right now that if you're a big time colorer and love coloring, feel free to make that horizontal line longer so that you have more to color, but if you just are practicing drawing and don't wanna be doing as much coloring, you're gonna to wanna to make a shorter one because it's going to be the length of your dog's body. So I'm gonna start right in the corner of that horizontal line in the cup on the right hand side, and I'm gonna go horizontal to the side. Okay, look at, he looks very, very focused right now. Next, I'm gonna go to the bottom of the cup for his ear, and I'm gonna make a little vertical down. We go there's our little vertical down now i'm going to make a horizontal line that's equal to that top line remember we talked about equal means the same so it's going to be the same length so i'm going to start at the bottom of the vertical line and i'm going to go over 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 stop okay now that i have that open spot at the end of his body i'm going to start at the top horizontal line and i'm going to go vertical down 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 stop at the bottom Kind of remember, uh, reminds you of a rectangle, huh? I noticed that too. Okay, I'm going to do the dog's tail next because I feel like dogs are very much tail oriented. That means that we focus on their tails a lot because what do tails do? They wag. So I'm going to start in the side corner here and I'm going to curve up and curve back. Looking more dog like each day. Now, we're gonna add some variety with what the dog's legs look like. We're gonna make it look like he's walking. And the legs are gonna be different than the cat's, so please stay with me. Don't work ahead. Take your time, do your best. So I'm gonna start on this little vertical line right here, and I'm gonna go diagonal down around. And when I come back, instead of going back to this little vertical line, I'm going to touch this horizontal line for his body. So it almost looks like he's taking a step forward. Do you see that? Okay, I need to do four legs for a dog. I drew one, three more to go. Right next to that front leg that's walking, I'm going to put my pencil down again, 
and I'm going to go down, around, and up. So now he's got two legs. He's walking a little more. Four, take away two, is two. Back two legs. Here we go. I'm going to do the same type of step for the next leg. I'm going to start near the back half of the body, and I'm going to go diagonal down, around, and back. Three down, one to go. And down, around, and up. He's a dog, and he's walking. He likes to walk, and he is happy. So we better give him some action lines. I'm going to show that tail is wagging, and I'm going to use the kindergarten rule of three. We're going to make three lines on each side of the tails to show he's a happy dog. One, two, three. Other side, one, two, three. I noticed from his face that he's not looking too happy, so I'm going to start down below the nose, almost at the bottom of the curve, and I'm going to go over and up. Now he looks like a happy old dog. He's a hound dog. And he's over. Okay. I'm going to take and draw a line across so that my dog can have something to walk on. And so whenever I come to his foot, I'm just going to hop to the other side of his foot. Little line, hop. Little line, hop. Little line, hop. And then I'm going to go all the way to the other side. And that gives it some perspective so that it looks a little more dimensional than it was before. Not perfect, but again, it's the best I can do, which is what we're trying to do here. Now, I know when I drew the cat today, I added a ball of yarn, so I'm going to really Think about what might make a dog happy. Got it. A bone. I'm going to draw a bone here. If you would like to draw a bone too, I'm going to show you the steps for it. I'm going to scoot my board a little closer because it's going to be a small detail. I'm going to add it in this space on the ground right here. I'm going to start by doing a little horizontal hop little horizontal. And again, those horizontals are going to be equal, which means the same. On the side that is the left-hand side, I'm going to put my marker down and I'm going to curve up, around, to the middle. Then I'm going to back it up, beep, 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 on the same line and down to the bottom. There's one side. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start on that other top horizontal line, and I'm going to curve up, around, to the middle, beep, 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 and curve back to that horizontal line again. That's the bone. Right, friends? So now that you've learned how to draw a dog and you made a beautiful bone for him, it's your time to make it yours. When you color it in, I want to remind you of the things that we always talk about in kindergarten. Remember to use a variety of colors, stay in the lines, and go back to look for white spots. Now that your picture is done, I want you to take your two fingers like this and your thumb like this, put them together and say, Mwah! Masterpiece! I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, dog lovers. Until next time.